In this video, we're going to talk about a interesting <laughs> customization thing that you can do in Ark Survival Ascended. <laughs> As you can see, I've even got body paints on. We're going to paint on a bunch of different things and show you how to customize and change everything around you. Now to do this, you're going to need dyes. Now dyes will be collected in your cosmetics next to your inventory over here. You'll see I've already got a few prepared. If you don't know how to make dyes, we're going to place down a cooking pot. A cooking pot is going to require fuel, so either put spark powder or wood to power it. It's also going to need water. And right now we're going to only have the way of taking water jars or water skins, filling them up while standing in water, going to the water pot, going to the cooking pot, putting the jar inside there and seeing which ones we can craft. You'll notice there are many, many, many dye options of entirely different types of colors. And these will require different berries like Amar berries, Verd berries. So go ahead and craft the color of your choice, the one that you want to use, and you're going to grab the dyes from this inventory. They look like this and transfer them into your inventory and you'll find them under your cosmetics. Now there's three main ways that you can paint something. The first one and the most easiest is probably going to cosmetics and dragging the paint directly onto an item. For starters, let me take this wooden club. This wooden club looks like this when I hold it, as you can tell. And the torch has a red flame on it, as you can see here. Now in that cosmetic screen, we can go ahead and we can drag, for example, red directly onto the wooden club. And this is going to allow you to color one of six regions of the club. You can use right click on the preview to move it around. When you hold right click, you can move it around. When you hold control and left click, you can rotate the preview around so that you can see at a better angle to see what you're coloring. So if we test on color one, this changes the color of the whole bat, whereas color two is only going to be the handle. So let's, for example, in this case, change the color of the whole bat. And then you just click apply paint. Now that's going to take one dye to color the one region. You can't do multiple regions at the same time, but you can do all the regions. It just takes one dye for each time and you have to keep clicking apply paint. If you look at my bat now, you can see it has a, a red look to it. You'll notice in cosmetics, all the allowed items are items that you can color. For example, you can also change the coloring of armor. So if I go ahead and I take white coloring and I put it on the snow armor over here, you can actually change this to an even whiter version of the fur armor, which is something that I really like doing on the on the fur armor because it looks much cooler being full white when you're in the snow biome. But you can also make it pink, you can make it gold, you can make it blue, light blue, black. You can change all of it for all the armors as well as all the different weapon types. It's very interesting that you can actually change the color of the flame on the on the torch. Like if I go to the torch, for example, hold control and left click and I color region five with any of the colors right now, I've already done blue onto it. You'll see now when I hold out my torch, it will actually have a blue flame, a blue torch instead of red. You can color the flame. Really cool. Now, if we go ahead and we look at the Stylocolio saddle, yes, you've already guessed it. We can recolor the saddle as well. In cosmetics, we can take coloring Put it on the saddle and change the color of the saddle in multiple different ways. Like apply paint here, we can apply it on the base here, on the front of this thing, and at the bottom over there. And now when we go ahead and we put the saddle back on the thylacolia, you'll see it is now black instead of that beige. Now it can match your dinosaur or your creature way more according to the color that they are. Now there's two items you can use to apply colors to different things. Right. The first one is actually the paintbrush. Very early on, you will unlock it. You can use right click to actually target your body. Now in the screen, you can use right click to drag your character around, zoom in with the mouse button and, you know, target specific things. If you want to put like a coloring on just your finger, maybe you even want to paint your whole arm. It is possible. You can use control and left click to rotate the character around so that you can get different angles. If you look at the instructions over here, it says left click to paint. Now beware when you do this, you can erase it. You just have to hold control and right click to erase. It's actually quicker to use shift and then right click to erase because it erases a bigger circle. The same way that when you just hold left click to paint and you hold shift to paint, you can paint different thicknesses and then right click, of course, to erase it. Or if you've done so much damage that you don't know how to fix it, you can click the delete paint at the top left over here so that it deletes all the paint on your character. And to apply new paint onto your character, you just have to grab it, 
drag it onto the paintbrush, and then you'll see the percentage bar is refilled and you can go ahead and paint again. Now with the paintbrush in your hand, you can actually use left click on different things. For example, like this flag that you get early on in the game, use right click to drag the flag down, scroll out to move it around. And the same controls exist here for coloring this. You can also change the color of the canvas. Maybe you want the canvas to be black, for example, just like this, and then you're painting with white. Of course, you will have to use the color that you have in the dye on your paintbrush to select the region here so that you can color it the way you want. And you can use this to draw whatever you want in the entire world. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm not, I'm, I promise I'm done. You can also use the brush on the other canvas thing over here, the painting canvas. This one's actually lets you zoom in like real, real close. And you can see it even has like the proper kind of like painting feel to it, like oil painting in a way. It's still a little bit like rectangular and like, you know, precise with some of the corners. It doesn't really let you make perfectly straight things. But when you zoom out, it's something that's hardly noticeable from a distance. So you can really make some nice paintings with this. All right, so now we've applied pink to our paintbrush and I'm gonna show you that we can paint all these different things too, the walls, the floors, even this bed. I can make this bed pink, right? So we can hold control and drag with left click so we can see the top and we can check all the different things, pink pillow, pink bed frame, or even pink blanket, perfect. Nice pink blanket for me. Wow, that's a lot more pink than I thought it would be. Damn, that's like a hot pink. And you can do this with structures too. For example, let's start out with the thatch one over here. We can click here. This is actually the side of the structure. If you hold control and you put it like this, you can see here's the top. You have the regions one, two, and three. It looks like two changes the kind of bamboo on the sides. I don't know what three is changing. I can't find what three is coloring. But on number one, you can see this changes the whole entire thing. For some reason it looks red, but I have a feeling it's gonna stay red. Okay, for the stone, if we go ahead and we look at the stone, we can change this as well. One, two, and three, all different colors. For the metal, we get the same exact options over here. Actually, more places to color. One is the, the very top. Two seems to be the side. Three is like that band. Four is this band. Five is that kind of stuff. And six is these little edge pieces. So it's pretty cool how you can go into extreme detail to color everything. At later levels, you will actually get the spray gun, which is really cool. It has a whole unique system to spray an entire thing, one color in one go. Now, when you hold right click, you can actually activate the numbers by pressing one, two, three, four, five, and six, or turn certain ones off. These are the color regions. So if you leave it on like all of them, it will paint every single applicable region for something. For example, if I spray this now, boom, everything of that is blue. Boom, everything's blue. Boom, everything's blue. Boom, everything's blue. Like this, isn't this, isn't this kind of cool though? Like you can change the color of every single thing that you want. And you'll see it says tap in to switch to soap. Now soap, if you've been wondering at all how to get the color off of these things, yes, there is a way you have to use soap. So you tap in over here, switches to the soap. I have one in my inventory. You can get these through drops in the world, the loot drops in the sky. Sometimes they will have soap. And then you can use this to spray and set things back to what they originally were. You should know that only one soap affects one item. So you use one bar of soap, you can clean this item, not that one. Tap in, it's like, nope, no more soap. Soap, soap, is, if, uh, soap is finished. If you wanna change the color on the spray gun, as usual, you just go to cosmetics and you just drag the color onto the spray gun like this to load it and then go ahead and you can do your usual shenanigans and spray things different colors like this, boom. Isn't that interesting? Look how we have like, like yellow bricks and then the blue like cement at the back of the stone wall. You can see it from this side too. Pretty, looks pretty interesting. We even changed the color of the cooking pot to yellow. Color of this thing, can't change that. But that's how you can change the color of everything in the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.